Hi guys, Chelsea here. So for this video, we'll be talking about my preparations for studying abroad. So the first thing I had to do was fill out study abroad applications from Kettering University, my home university in America, as well as Reutlingen University, the university in Germany that I wanted so to next, study. next, we'll talk about applying for a visa. Now this may or may not apply to you depending on your nationality. I'm Jamaican, so I needed a visa to study in Europe. The visa application process itself is not too complicated. I found everything I needed at the German consulate website, so I would Google that if you want more information. But you can also ask your host country, the place where you want to go study, or the university in your home country, which is where you currently study now. Between your home country, host country, and the German consulate website, you should have all the information you need. So we'll be talking about applying for financial aid for study abroad. Now, when it comes to applying for financial aid, I strongly recommend you approach your host institution, which is where you want to study, as well as your home institution, which is where you study right now. Through approaching both of these places, I was able to secure some aid for my study abroad trip. Now, when it comes to approaching your host institution, they can tell you whether or not they have any opportunities that you might be eligible for. That is where I actually found out about one of my biggest aid packages for study abroad, the Baden-Württemberg Stipendium. Now this applies to universities in Baden-Württemberg, Germany, and they give you a monthly stipend to offset study abroad expenses. I also recommend you do your own research, but my home and host institution were the best places that I found most of my aid for study abroad. The last thing I did to prepare for study abroad was purchase my plane ticket. Now I purchased my ticket in around July because prices seemed fairly reasonable at that time. I was buying a ticket from Boston, Massachusetts to Stuttgart, Germany, which was close to Reutlingen where I was going to study. Now when you're purchasing your plane ticket, start looking in advance to, so you can spot when the prices seem lower than they usually are. I also strongly recommend travel insurance so that you can easily change your flights if needed or protect against any baggage loss should it happen. Hi guys, so here I'll be talking a bit more about the Baden-Württemberg stipendium that I received. So I found out about it through speaking to someone who works in the international office at Reutlingen University. They let me know that I was eligible because I study at a partner university in the United States. Now the stipendium is amazing. They give you a monthly stipend to offset study abroad expenses. But aside from that, you're connected to other members of the stipendium network all around Baden-Württemberg. And some of these members are international, so they're even from other places. Now, I did not get to speak directly to another member, but I was able to stay up to date with what everyone was doing through the Stipendium Network portal. I was also able to attend cool workshops on things such as entrepreneurship or coding, as well as cultural events. So now I'll be talking about major differences and similarities between Reutlingen University in Germany and Kettering University in America. So firstly, the dorms. So in Reutlingen, we did have private dorms, which is the same as Kettering, so that was cool. You didn't have to share a room with someone directly in your space. So while the rooms at Reutlingen weren't shared, we did have shared spaces such as the bathrooms and the kitchens. Now you'll be sharing the kitchen with around 15 other people, so that's a lot of people in the kitchen. And the fridge spaces are kind of small, but in Europe, people mainly buy groceries every few days so you should be okay. The dorms are about eight minutes from the school campus where we have classes, and it's around three minutes from the bus stop. So you're pretty well situated because in Germany, public transportation can get you everywhere. 
Now at Kettering University in America, you don't really need public transportation, so I don't even know how far the dorms are from the bus stop. The next question I'll be answering is, would I recommend Royal Lincoln University to other students? Now I would definitely recommend it for several reasons. The first being that the campus culture is very warm and inviting. The people are very kind. The next being that Royal Lincoln is 50% or almost 50% made up of international students. So it was cool to meet students from all around the world. And a large percentage of them spoke English as that was the common language between countries. Now, Rutlingen is also fun. There are several events such as parties, barbecues, field trips to German museums. And that was very cool. Now, the only reason I can think of why I would not recommend Rutlingen is because it's in a very small town. However, I don't think that should be a big deal because in Germany, public transportation can take you everywhere. Now, I'll be talking about life in Germany and how I found my way. So finding your way around in Germany isn't particularly hard because of the timetables you'll see at bus stops, the transportation apps you can download on your phone, and the fact that several young people speak English and are always willing to help you find your way. One thing I will say is that you should definitely learn how to use the transportation system without your phone. So know how to read the timetables, maybe know a few German transportation words so that you can tell whether your train is cancelled, the platform is delayed, or the platform has changed, or the train is delayed. Because that was some of my biggest problems in Europe, is not understanding when something changed quickly and you don't get that on your phone immediately. So aside from my advice related to traveling, the next thing I would really advise is to be open to learning Deutsch, the German language. So when I just went to Germany, I was a little bit closed off because I thought it would be super hard and extremely difficult. And while it does have a few long words, I will give you that. It's actually an amazing language to learn. And now one of my goals for the future is actually to improve my German. So be open and give it a try. For my last study abroad video, I'll be reflecting on my overall study abroad experience. Now, some of my expectations. One of my expectations was to learn more about German culture. And I was able to do this through learning the language and attending events hosted by Reutlingen University and the Baden-Württemberg Stipendium. Next, I wanted to pass all my courses. Now, Kettering made this easy because they have a pass or fail agreement. So I didn't need to work for the highest grade per se. So I passed all my courses. Next, I wanted to explore Europe. Now, let me tell you, traveling is more tiring than you think. Be prepared. But I was able to travel to nine countries, which was amazing. Now, lastly, improving my French and Spanish language skills and German. I did this through traveling. <laughs>